Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome to my Florida garden. I have someone to show you. Right in here in the butterfly haven and the enclosure with the wild lime is a giant swallowtail. Okay, you guys, it's flying free in my garden now. And I must have bumped the record thing because it landed on my hand and everything. And I was talking about it and none of it recorded. And now it's flown off. I still have my four giant, giant solitaire caterpillars in the house from the hurricane with everybody else. And I'm going to move them all out. And I just set up that new enclosure. Let me show you. So right in my Florida room all set up is my new enclosure. Look at how huge that is. It was so easy to build. It's just got a PVC pipe framing. You just slide the um, screening over it. And this is going to be the new home to my monarchs who are not going to be out in the butterfly haven and get eaten anymore. And any babies. I'll start them in here when they get bigger. If I want to move them out to my potted trees in the butterfly haven, then I'll do that. And this brand is Educational Science. It's the same brand as those giant enclosures that I have out in the butterfly haven. But I get those giant ones on Amazon. Amazon doesn't carry this one, so you have to go right to the Educational Sciences uh, website to order one of these. It's called a Lepidarium for Lepidoptera, the scientific name of the family or genus of butterflies and moths. So, how cool is that? I'm gonna go start moving the babies into here from in my yoga room and my giant um, swallowtail caterpillars are going to go back out on their wild lime trees. So let's go move caterpillars. Here are two of them. Look how cute they are. I'm just going to set my kombucha glass bottles in the enclosure with the potted wild lime trees and then they can just climb back onto the trees. They're so adorable. Here's the other two. I don't know where this guy's going. <laughs> So anyway, I'm sure they'll be happy to be back in their big enclosure on their big plants. Look at look at the weeds behind me. You know what? You know. I'm sorry I'm laughing, but you know how I said in the last video I've got to find a way to fall in love with them? Well, you know what they're making me think of? Like, um, if you were to find like an old mansion that had a garden that nobody had taken care of for a while but it just still had that kind of ancient beauty an old world old garden that's what it makes me think of <laughs> so that's that's the vibe we're going with that's the vibe Okay, all set. These are still one of my favorite caterpillars. Giant swallowtail caterpillars. Adaptation to look like bird poop and snakes. Little serpents. Keep those predators away. Alright, so I brought in lots of fresh cuttings. And now I'm moving the little caterpillars on. These are monarch caterpillars on white twine vine or Sarcostema clossum. It's a native in Florida. I'm not sure where else it's native. And everybody is now all moved in of the hurricane survivors. Y'all do you see that? Like it's holding on to something else. It just came flying through my garden, carrying something. I 
can't tell what it, it is. Like, did it catch something that it's eating? I don't know what this thing is, but look how huge. It's huge. It's got some kind of other creature. It must be eating it. That's kind of gross. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm showing this to you. Back to, back to what I was doing. Hey everyone, it's Saturday afternoon and I have been working so hard in my garden since I brought all my pentas in here for the hurricane, the ones that I grow to sell to the nectary. Um, I was able to clean off my whole work area and get it a little bit more organized and then I took all the pots back out. But while I was doing that, I have some little tiny pots of bronze fennel that I grew from seed. And there's one little tiny plant that had one little tiny egg on it. It was adorable. So I brought it in and it's right in here. I'll show you in a second. And every time I walk by here, it's like the wall of caterpillars. I didn't realize how much I would enjoy having this thing in here and just walking by and them all in there munching away because I like having them outside I feel like it's closest to nature for them but you know a few in here too it's like a it's like a little museum display <laughs> and you can see it like right down here in the corner I hope it hatches so much. See, look how nice my garden workspace looks. All organized. I feel so much better back here. I like working in a place that's nice and neat and organized. And I don't know, somebody must sneak in here and make messes that I have to clean up. <laughs> and look at all these butterflies right here. Fritillary, Eastern Black Swallowtail. There's two of them. No, wait, that's a spice bush. Y'all, I have the hardest time. I think that's a spice bush. And then that's an Eastern Black Swallowtail. Did I get it right? Do I pass the test? Y'all, look at this gray hair streak on my salt milkweed. This is the one I brought home from the nectary. I still I just have it in pot sitting here where it's gonna go. I haven't planted them yet. It's just beautiful. See how it's moving its little hind wings? It does that to make a predator think that that is its mouth so that if something tries to eat it, they'll take a bite there and just get some wing and the rest of the butterfly will be intact and able to stay alive. <laughs> so y'all, I love how tall this swamp milkweed is. And so I'm gonna plant it right here on the back edge, you can see down where I have the pots ready to go. And it's gonna actually be just about as tall as the bush mint. Actually, I think I'm gonna grab my shovel and just go ahead and plant it now. Look you know, that little gray hair streak is still here, is loving that swamp milkweed. And look who I just noticed right here. Sweet tiny baby. He's <laughs> so cute, they're so cute. Oh look, there's another one. You see it back there? Oh my gosh. Yay, monarch caterpillars. 
Oh, there's a lot of Stokes Aster seed pods that I need to come collect. Look at them all. Yes. Get some more Stokes Aster going. <laughs> you guys, today is the day of interesting creatures. I was out getting the little Stokes Aster dried heads to get the seeds from <laughs> and I found two interesting looking a little 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 people <laughs> in my garden and um, one, one's a, a pretty big grasshopper so if you don't like grasshoppers you might want to cover your eyes I was literally digging around in here to get the seeds and looking for more um, sleepy hibiscus seeds look at that grasshopper in there he's huge he's huge looks like it's eating my sleepy hibiscus all right I'm gonna go show you the next little guy I found he's over here on my maypop look at that guy Look at his little back legs. They look like little leaves. I feel like he's like an, a disco bug, like with the bell-bottom pants. Y'all, I put down my red Falco pruners somewhere. I can't find them. I've always thought in the back of my head I should order a backup, but they're so expensive. Now I'm wishing I had. I'll let you know if I find them. Found them in my garden room. Look, y'all, he's out. He's out on top of a leaf now. He's kind of cute. He's got a cute little face. You guys, remember I had that ugly green pot hanging basket here? Well, some of my um, flame vines, like, they were just done. And they all died. I, I actually moved them. I don't know if they're growing where I moved them. I haven't peeked yet. So I had this extra basket. So I switched out and put my Dutchman's Pipe Vine in this prettier basket. It looks so much better than the ugly green plastic one. And I'm getting ready to plant some of these. I am actually going to plant this blue sage not in... Um, the one wildflower garden but I'm gonna start putting more wildflowers into this section right here that's mostly red pentas and a bunch of that salvia that's still there I haven't taken it all out because I do love it I just don't love it all over my garden this is what I'm talking about so I have this spot right here that my pollinator sign was in. So I pulled it out and I'm gonna plant the blue sage and I think the lakeside sunflower right in here and then get my, get my sign back in the ground. There's a gorgeous monarch. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, hoping it'll land again. Right now they're fluttering around because there's a golf fritillary after it and then another monarch was after it. I can't tell you how many times that happens. I go to film something and then another butterfly swoops in and spooks it away right before I can catch it on camera. Okay, here it is, it's over here. There it is, did you see it gliding through? It looks like it just declosed today. Oh my gosh, y'all, there's a queen. I haven't seen a queen all day today. That's my first queen spotting. And the Eastern Black Swallowtails, there were three of them in my garden today. And they have been busy because you see there's a pot of um, fennel. There's eggs on it. Mm-hmm. There are like tons of butterflies out all of a sudden. There's a sulfur down on the other end of the garden. There's like three or four monarchs flying around going after each other. There goes that monarch again. I hope it lands so I can get some pictures of it. Right now it's just on patrol. All right, I'm going to get back to planting my 
my plants that I got from the nectary. Y'all, this is wild. That crazy looking bee thing that I showed you earlier is literally sitting on the side of my wagon that has the plants that I'm planting in it. It's like he says, here, take more pictures of me. I hope it's still there. I'm going to go show you. Look, he's sitting right there on the edge of my gorilla cart. And whatever it had earlier, it doesn't have any more. Look at that thing. It's huge. This thing takes the cake. Look at that. Look at his big eyes. I wonder why he's sitting here on my cart. I'm going to walk around to the other side and see if I can get a shot of his face. He just flew off. He moved over here. He's on my black cherry tree in the pot. He buzzes when he flies like a bee. Look at his big eyes. I wonder what he's doing with his little legs. This is fascinating. Aren't y'all glad you watched this video? I'm going to take some pictures of it. Okay, I got a few pictures you'll see at the end of this video as usual. Now I'm going to go ahead and plant my blue curls and my Florida paintbrush. Isn't that a cool looking plant? Those are my two new specimens for my wildflower garden. I'm going to go ahead and put them in and put their little signs in. Yeah, look who's still here. Look. I think actually this is a different one. This looks more like the, um, oh, it's a purple something because it's got the orange body, not the gray hair streak, the purple hair streak maybe. Isn't it cool? So since I'm here working in my wildflower garden and I just pulled out a bunch of weeds and there's still more, my husband actually brought me home another truckload of pine bark. So I'm going to start pine barking around all of my wildflowers. I've been using this pine bark. Like it's the same pine bark I dumped like 15 to 20 bags of and I never noticed what it said. <laughs> But look at this pine bark nugget. It says, I'll take the nuggets, hold the chicken. Isn't that perfect for somebody who's vegan to be putting in their garden? Whoever this company is, I love them. Look at this simple garden happy life. That's me. So love this, love this pine bark. Oh, look, it says protect the Florida wetlands. Oh, here's the name of the company. The Mulch and Soil Company. I love them. There are so many pollinators on my bush mint right now. Lots of different ones, too. Like, there's a whole variety of little living beings. on this bush mint y'all this is crazy i mean it's fabulous but why doesn't everybody know about this stuff and there's a big breeze to blow them all away it's all right they'll come back they know what they love isn't this fascinating i could just sit here and watch this y'all are probably bored you're probably like forwarding to the next section Actually, probably not. Because you guys tend to love nature's little creatures. I have to go do my pine bark. Because I think this wind picking up means that there's a storm coming. And I want to get my pine bark done. Plus my husband, he went to that Thai place again. He's coming home with that. Um, it's a curry. It's a curry. It's got uh, potato and rice. 
and the curry sauce, oh my gosh, it's like magic in your mouth. It's so good. But it won't be so good if I don't stop filming bugs. And get back to my pine bark. All right, here I go. Say goodbye, bugs. Okay, y'all, this has just been the most fantastic day. Look, my cart is empty. The weather has been perfect. There has been a breeze. It's been clouds and sun and blue sky, but it's not super humid. And fall is definitely in the air. Florida fall is in the air. I can feel it in the breeze. I love my Florida weather, y'all. I just, I love it here. So, to end a perfect gardening day, I'm going to leave y'all with a peek at my wildflower garden, and I'll say it again. Pine bark makes everything better. It is like the perfect canvas to plant little pieces of artwork in. It is the frame that sets everything off in the most beautiful presentation. I love it. Let's go see. So look how much better my wildflower garden looks. I, I have, these are seed pods. Look, this one's about to be done. See it? It's turning brown for my Asclepius tuberosa. So that's why I have the um, organza bags on there to catch those seeds. But look, look how pretty it is. And the cool thing is, is like when some plants have a tendency to lay down, like the pine bark helps hold them up so they stand up. And look, my starry rosin weed is blooming. And you can see there's little pollinators flying around it. When this all grows in and blooms, oh look, there's a monarch. I wonder if that's my monarch. It's my monarch. Ha 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 ha. I caught you, sir. There he is again. Oh my goodness. I think it's just perfect that he decided to allow himself to be filmed at the end of this video. So with that, I'll say, I'll see y'all in the next one. What a beautiful day.